Now I'm going to take a listen to you. First I'm going to listen to lung sounds. So each time I press uh, or touch your skin with my stethoscope, just take a deep breath in and out. No adventitious breath sounds. Now I'm going to take a listen to heart sounds. She came in with um, complaints of chest pain. So I'm going to go ahead and take a listen to her aortic sound, which is going to be the second intercostal space on the right side. Pulmonic, second intercostal space on the left side. Tricuspid, which is going to be the fourth intercostal space. I'm sorry, the third intercostal space on the left side. And the mitral, which is going to be the fifth intercostal space midclavicular on the left side, which is usually just below the breast. I'm gonna go ahead and take a listen to her abdomen. All four quadrants. When was your last bowel movement? About six hours ago. Okay. Bowel sounds are active, which is a normal finding. Okay. I'm just gonna listen. on the other side as well. I'm going to put this up to right here. Over here, I'm going to have you say 99. 99. 99. Perfect. You can relax. Say E for me. E. Say 99. 99. Say E. 99. 99. E. Great. Just listen to the side. Deep breath in and out. Say 99. 99. Say E. E. This side. Deep breath in and out. Say 99. 99. Say E. E. Perfect. So I'm just going to listen. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Say 99. 99. And say E. E. Deep breath. Say 99. 99. And say E. E. Perfect. Thank you. I want you to repeat back. One, two, three, but nice and soft, okay? Mm -hmm. Say it. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. again. One, two, three. And if you can turn around one more time. And again. One, two, three. And one more time. One, two, three. Great. I'm going to listen now with the bow end. And there's no breeze noted. Okay, and then the last one is 
Okay, so your apical heart rate is 84 beats per minute, um, and no murmurs noted in any of the other heart spots. Um, now I'm also into your lungs, um, so we're just going to have you take some deep breaths as I listen. Okay, so the lungs are clear um, bilaterally as well as anterior and posteriorly, um, and there are no adventitious sounds and no accessory muscle usage brought. I'm going to listen in all four quadrants. Okay, so there are active vowel sounds in all four quadrants. I'll spotate for bread sounds if you can come back to the end. I'll have you take deep breaths, okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to the your breath sounds here. Bilateral breath sounds are good uh, and equal. No wheezing, ronchi, or crackles noted. So, aortic. Can you take a deep breath and hold? Okay. Pulmonic. Second pulmonic or herbs point. Tricuspid. And mitral. So S1 and S2 heard loud in uh, all regions and there are no abnormal murmurs or gallops heard. I'm gonna check your heart again as you're lying down. So aortic again. We will do it with the bell.
Balmonic. Tricuspid and mitral. Okay, and as I'm checking the PMI, I'm also going to, as I'm auscultating, I'm going to also check for the carotid pulse. And they're both synchronous. Okay, so that is good. Next, I'm going to check your abdomen. Okay, so we'll put this up a little. Uh, on inspection, the abdomen looks symmetrical. I don't see any bulging, no nodules, uh, no bluish discoloration, no other rash or redness over the abdomen. Can you lift your head a little? And I don't see any herniation with uh, increased pressure on the abdomen. Uh, next, I'm going to auscultate. So we're gonna first auscultate the bowel sounds. And that's in all four quadrants. I can hear the bowel sounds in all four quadrants. I'm gonna check Auscultate the epigastric region for a venous hum in the umbilicus. No venous hum noted. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, auscultate the aorta. No brewery present. Uh, the renal arteries. No brewery, iliac artery, and the femoral artery. Yeah, there's no brewery present in either of those. And let me know if at any point you become uncomfortable or you need to take a break. Just let me know, okay? No discomfort with any of that? Mm -mm. And do you have problems with your breathing? Nope. Nope? And now I'm going to have a listen again. And like I said before, if you need to take a break, just please let me know, okay? <coughs> okay. And I'm going to start up at your throat to see if I can hear any brewies. Alrighty, everything sounds good, so I'm going to move down to your lungs. Listen down below and on the other side. Good. No pain with that? Mm -mm. Alright, 
Now I'm gonna do your apical pulse and I'm gonna stay here for a full minute, okay? Okay. Rate, and your heart rate was 71 beats per minute, which is very good. All right, I'm going to move down to your stomach, okay? Do you have any stomach problems, pain, uncomfortableness, mm -hmm. regular bowel movements? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start by listening, okay? Okay. I'm going to pull your shorts down just a little bit. Everything sounds good. Lots of bowel sounds. You're gonna take a listen to your heart. Hey, you can breathe normally. going to take a listen to your respirations first. Can you just take a deep breath for me? Okay. Now I'm going to listen. Deep breath. One more. Again. Let's take a walk around. Can you take a deep breath? Great. Okay, now I'm gonna listen to the back of your chest. And I just still need you to take a few more deep breaths. Okay. Okay, one now. Take a deep breath and out. Great. And out. Good. Another one. 
and out. Another one. Good. One more. Out. Four. And out. And out. And good. Alrighty. So let me listen to your lung sounds from the front, okay? Put this down a little bit. Okay, take a deep breath. And out. Good. In. And out. And out. Good. Yeah, okay. And out. Good. And then now I'm going to have you raise your hands above your head. And I will listen here. Take a deep breath and out. And then this side. In and out. Good. So your lung sounds sound good. You can rest your arms. And I was looking at the distance from the front and the back. It's called the anterior posterior diameter and it looks good. Okay? So everything sounds good and looks good in your lungs. Yeah. Next, I'm going to drape you so that we can do your heart. Okay. okay? Okay. And then I'm going to raise your gown. Okay. I'm going to have you lean forward a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to listen. And I will start with the top right sternal border. Listening for any breweries. And then the left. And then I will listen here. That's your herbs point. Good. And then I will repeat the same with the bell. Good. I do not hear any breweries or any thrills. I do not hear any murmurs either. Oh, good. Next, Miss Denise, we're going to look at your belly, okay? You will notice a slight change in the order that I'm going to do it. I will first look or inspect, and then I will auscultate. I will listen. Usually that is the last part to do, but in the abdomen, we don't want to start touching and percussing, and then we will activate your bowels, okay? Alrighty. So I do not see any lesions, any change of color, no sweaty, clammy skin, okay? Now let's listen. And I'm going to listen with the diaphragm. Start with the right lower quadrant. Okay. Good. And then the right upper. Good. Left upper. And then your left lower. Good. And your bowels are moving just fine. And check your renal. Good. Now I'll check your ilia. Good. Okay. Good. So take a deep breath and hold. Good. And then take a deep breath and out. 
Good. Now take a deep breath and hold. Great. Perfect. Good deal. Deep breath in. Everything sounds good. Good. Now I'm going to listen to your heart, the precordium. I'm going to do the aortic. Pulmonic, second pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. Now I'm going to listen with my bell. I'm going to do that one more time. We've got aortic, pulmonic, second pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Perfect. I'm going to get you to lay down. I'm going to listen one more time. So let me move this out of your way. I'm going to listen while you're lying down. Perfect. So let's take another listen. I'm going to first listen with my diaphragm. Aortic. Perfect. So we're going to listen to the bell one more time. Good deal. Everything sounds good. So I'm just going to listen to um, for bowel sounds in all four quadrants. Now I'm going to listen for any bruises in your renal arteries. Okay. Iliac. No bruises. Good. And femoral. Perfect. Now I'm going to auscultate them. Um, listening for any bruits or abnormal sounds to your carotid. Lung sounds are clear and equal bilaterally. I'm going to um, listen to your heart valves right quick using my diaphragm. This is the aortic. Okay. 
欧盟嘞。Charter 是。Now I'm going to listen with the bail of my stethoscope. Okay. No abnormal sounds noted. Alrighty. Now I'm going to look for PMI. Abnormalities noted there. I'm going to listen to your breath sounds right quick, okay? Just breathe normally. Lungs are clear and equal bilaterally. Okay. All right. Normal active bowel sounds noted in all four quadrants. No bruits or abnormalities noted. Go right into your shirt here.
come around to the front. I didn't hear any adventitious sounds, no wheezing, no crackles, no spiders, sounded very nice. Okay. Now I'm going to do your cardiac. Okay. We'll just start right here. That aortic. here for mitral. Because your S1 is already there. Nice heart sounds. I didn't hear any murmurs, no extra S3 or S4 sounds. Look into the four quadrants of your abdomen. Okay. I'm going to stay here for a minute as well. I'm just going to take a listen with the bell burning breweries. So when I put my stethoscope on you, just um, hold your breath, okay? Got it. Go ahead and breathe. And hold your breath one more time. Got it. So there's no sound of whooshing, which means there's no breweries present. So I'm going to start up at the aortic heart, which is in the second intercostal space on the right. I hear S2 sounds loudest here. Then moving over to the pulmonic, which is in the second intercostal space on the left, where S2 sounds are heard loudest. The herbs, which is in the S or er, um, which is in the third intercostal space, where S2 sounds are heard loudest. Good. Moving down to the tricuspid valve, which is in the fourth intercostal space, S1 sounds are heard loudest and over to the mitral valve, where S1 sounds are heard loudest. And I would listen here for a full 60 seconds for the apical heart rate. So I'm just going to switch to the bell and listen for any abnormalities. Mitral. Good. Tricuspid. Herbs. Pulmonic. And aortic. Good, so I don't hear any abnormal S3 or 4 sounds. 
Um, I don't hear any murmurs, so the heart sounds are strong and even. I'm just going to take a listen to your lungs now. Whenever you feel my stethoscope, if you could take a deep breath for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you get dizzy at all. So go ahead and breathe. Good, and again. And again. Go ahead and breathe normal for me. So the lung sounds are equal bilaterally. I don't hear any adventitious crackles or wheezes. And let me check her lateral side. Good. So no adventitious noises there. Let me check your back. Can you take a deep breath, breath for me? Good. And again? Okay, go ahead and breathe normal. So I don't hear any adventitious sounds on the back either. No cracking or wheezing. Good. And lung sounds are equal bilaterally on the back as well. So bowel sounds are present. I hear high pitch gurgling. Um, if I didn't hear it, I would wait for five minutes in each quadrant. I'm going to listen to your lungs. So I'm going to have you take deeper breaths than normal. If you get dizzy, just let me know. Okay. okay. Deep breath. Lung sounds are clear, all four lobes. Let me just listen a little. You can breathe just normal. Perfect. Respirations are regular and even and the rate is 16. Okay, perfect. Lungs sound good. Um, now I'm going to listen to your chest. So I'm going to have you go ahead and lay down for this part. I'm going to check your heart. So I'm going to be listening in different spots on your chest. Okay. So just breathe normally, okay? I'm listening to the fifth intercostal space on the left sternal margin. rate is 80, heart rate is regular and even. Now I'm just going to listen to your vowels. First vowel I'm going to listen to is the aortic valve. It's on the second intercostal space on the right sternum border. Next is pulmonic valve, second intercostal space, left sternum border. Herbs point. Third intercostal space, left sternal border. Tricuspid valve, fourth intercostal space on the left sternal border. And my 
central bell to the pentecostal space. Let's turn with order. No murmurs are noted. Now I'm gonna listen for your carotid arteries in your neck. I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in and then hold it. Good, take a breath. I'm gonna listen to the other side. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and hold it. No breweries are noted. Perfect. Bell sounds are normal in all four quadrants. So no breweries were heard, that's like a swishing sound. Okay. Okay. Next is the pulmonic, which is the second intercostal space, left sternal border. Next is Herb's Point, which is the third intercostal space, left sternal border. Next is the Tricuspid, which is the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. Next, I'm going to auscultate the aorta with the bell of the stethoscope and listen for any breweries. No breweries noted. Then we'll listen with the diameter of my stethoscope. So I'm going to listen to the um, aortic valve, which is on the right um, sternal border, um, second um, intercostal space. The pulmonic valve, which is at the left sternal border, second intercostal space. The herbs point, which is on uh, the left sternal border, third intercostal space. And this is where you can hear ST the loudest. And the list of the tricuspid valve, which is at the left sternal border, fourth intercostal space. And the mitral valve, which is at the fifth um, intercostal space, midclavicular line. And then I'm going to listen to your apical pulse for a full minute. All right, by my clock in my exam room, it's been a full minute. 
Um, Angela's apical pulse uh, was 68 beats a minute. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and listen to your carotids, and then I'm going to listen to your lung sounds, okay? okay. So I'm going to listen to the carotids with the bell in my stethoscope. So I'm going to lean you back a little bit. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is going to palpate the carotids. She has two plus. She has two plus carotid on the right side. I'm just going to go ahead and listen for any breweries. Can you hold your breath for me? And relax. Can you hold your breath for me? And relax. There you go. So now I'm going to listen to your lung sounds um, in eight different areas um, on the anterior chest. I want you to take some deep, uh, deep breaths in through your mouth while I'm doing this, okay? Okay. All right, deep breath in. Very nice. So Angela has clear lung cells. So again, I want you to um, take deep breaths in through your mouth. Then I'm going to listen in 10 spots down here, okay? with the diameter. All right, she had clear lung sounds, no advantageous sounds. I'm gonna listen with the diameter of my stethoscope. Starting at the left, uh, the right lower quadrant. Can I hear a positive bowel sound? Um, if I didn't hear something, I would listen for two to five minutes before saying that it's um, hypoactive or not there. Moving to the right upper quadrant, I hear a positive bowel sound. Left upper quadrant, positive bowel sounds. Left lower quadrant, positive bowel sounds. So I'm going to flip my stethoscope to the bell. I'm going to listen for um, aortic brewery. I can um, hear your pulse, but I don't hear uh, a brewery. So let's start with the renal arteries. And I also feel your pulse from here, or hear your pulse from here. I don't hear a venous hum, but that would not be an uh, abnormal finding if I did. I don't hear any bruises. I'm going to listen down here at the femoral arteries. I don't hear any bruises down here. All right. I'm going to have you take deep breaths, and I'm going to listen to your lung sounds. And then your lateral lung sounds. All right. You can take deep breaths. Let me know if you feel dizzy. Next, I'm going to listen to your heart sounds, okay? I'm going to start in the center in our costal space, listening to your aortic region. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. And apical. 
All right, since I don't have a bell, adjust the diaphragm, I'm gonna just do it one more time. But if I did have a bell, I would go back to those regions and listen again. Aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. And then I am going to listen to her bowel sounds. I'm going to start in the lower right region. And they're active. <laughs> Now I'm going to auscultate her posterior chest. <coughs> Breathe in for me. Let me know if you get dizzy. Her lateral breath sounds. Okay, now I'm going to take a listen. Again, starting about the clavicles. Go ahead and breathe for me. Very good. Um, and now, oh, before I move on, I'd like to go back briefly and do a sharp and dull sensory test. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to show you what soft and dull feels like. This is dull and this is sharp. And I want you to let me know when you feel that. I'm going to do it on your face. Okay. okay. You close your eyes for me. Uh, dull, mm -hmm. sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp. Very good. Okay. Next, I'm going to have you lie down. And oh, excuse me. Before you lie down, I apologize. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your heart. Okay. I'm going to inspect your <clears> chest, <throat> feeling for any rise, any thrills, um, or heave. None is noted. Now I'm going to take a listen to the areas of her heart, starting with the aortic. Aortic. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. Apical. If I had a stethoscope with a bell, I would be listening in those areas, but since I do not, I'll be taking the diaphragm and listening to those areas of the heart again. Starting with the aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and the mitral. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at your peripheral vascular system. Um, I'll be palpating. Um, all of her pulses bilaterally, except for her carotids, which I will begin with and palpate separately. Okay. And now her brachial. Her radial. Her femoral.
her just her dorsal pedialis and her posterior tibial. Okay, while I'm down here, I'm going to be noting for any edema, any dependent swelling, there is none. It's warm, um, and a capillary refill is good, less than three seconds. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to have you lie down, if you will, and I'm going to inspect your abdomen. Can I lift your, yep, very good. Okay, first thing I'm doing is assessing, um, just inspecting rather. I'm looking at the general contour of her abdomen. Everything is symmetrical. Her umbilicus is midline. Um, as she's breathing, it's rising evenly. So next I'm gonna take a listen. I'm gonna auscultate the quadrants of her bells, starting in the right upper quadrant. Right lower. Left upper and left lower. I am hearing active bowel sounds. Go ahead and take two press for me. Uh, let me know if you get dizzy. Okay. Take some press for me. Okay. Now I'm going to inspect your abdomen. So I'm going to have you lie down. I'm going to lift your shirt here just to expose your abdomen. I'm looking at the general contour of her abdomen, um, the alignment of her umbilicus, it is midline. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a listen. Starting in the upper right quadrant. And I'm listening for bowel sounds and they are active. I'm going to start with your aortic, your pulmonic tricuspid, and your mitral. If I had a stethoscope with a bell, I would do that, but I do not. So I'm going to take a listen to all, the si all of the heart sounds again um, with my stethoscope. Starting with aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. and determine the patient's blood pressure. Okay. Patient's blood pressure was about 110 over 80. I'm now going to auscultate. So every time I move my stethoscope, I want you to take a deep breath in, okay? Okay, 
we're going to also do a faint area. <coughs> so I'm going to do the right second inner pocket space for right border with the diaphragm and the paddle. And then again for pneumonic, the diaphragm and the paddle. For tricuspid, diaphragm and bell, and for nasal, diaphragm, and bell. I'm going to do the precordial, diaphragm, and bell. All right, I'm going to compare the apical and the peripheral pulses. Okay, and if you can roll over all the way on the side for the, for the the apical impulse. Very good. And I'm gonna have you sit up for me right here. Lean forward. Take a big deep breath in and hold it. And I'm also holding over the fourth or fifth inner possible space at the left sternal border. And we start with the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left lower quadrant, and the abdominal aorta. Now the renal artery and the iliac artery. do some of your typical vitals real quick on you, if you don't mind. So I'm just going to take your blood pressure. You can just relax your arm. Ten over seventy. That's very good. Very good. All right. Now I'm just going to listen to your heart. Do you mind if I? move my stethoscope, I just want you to take a deep breath, okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm going to do the same thing on your back. which is very good. Uh, we would make sure our stethoscope is in a uh, bell position, which we are. Hold your breath for me.
Okay. There are no breweries noted. We would also listen to different areas of the carotid, um, uh, listening for uh, any abnormalities. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I would also listen to the front. There are no wheezes, no crackles, no rock I noted. All lobes are clear throughout. Um, we would start by listening to the uh, aortic, pulmonic, second pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Uh, the mitral uh, would be auscultated at the fifth intercostal midclavicular. Um, everything was noted, S1 and S2, regular rate and rhythm, um, noted. I'm going to lift up your shirt a little bit. Yeah. Okay, there are no breweries noted. And we're going to be listening to all four quadrants. Bow tones are noted in all four quadrants. Um, there is no abnormality in tones, no hyperactive bow tones, no hypoactive, and no uh, no absence of bow tones. So, um, we're normal rea normal reactive in all uh, four quadrants. My blood pressure was 110 over 72, which is regular. Um, will you take a deep breath um, through your mouth each time I um, touch you with my stethoscope? Okay, and also do, can you do the same thing as last time? Deep breaths each time. Okay, and also take so deep breaths every time, just like before. I'm going to oscillate um, all four um, cardiac points, first using the diaphragm. So the first one is the second right intercostal space, second left intercostal space, 
Can you please um, displace your breasts for me? Um, fourth, left intercostal space at the left sternal border. Fifth, left intercostal space at the midclavicular line. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the bell. So this is aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Now I'm going to um, auscultate the carotids. Can you hold your breath for me? And that's using the bell. Um, I'm going to also take um, the apical uh, impulse using the bell. Can you roll over on your left side for me? Okay, that's checking for mitral stenosis. Now I'm going to correlate the apical and peripheral pulses. They seem to be about the same. Can you sit up for me? Using the diaphragm um, between the fourth and fifth intercostal space at the left sternal border, I'm going to be checking for mitral regurgitation. Can you lean forward for me, exhale, and hold your breath? Great. This is the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant, right lower quadrant, the epigastrum, abdominal aorta, the renal arteries, and iliac. Okay. So now, I'm going to take a listen, and if I could just have you every single time you feel my stethoscope, take a big deep breath in with your mouth, um, and let me know if you feel dizzy or lightheaded. Okay. Way down here. Good. Good. All right. I'm gonna listen. If you could just take a big deep breath out your mouth when you feel my stethoscope on your back, and let me know if you feel lightheaded or dizzy. Okay. You okay? Yep. Okay. All right, perfect. I'm just going to listen to your heart sounds. Starting up here in your aortic area.
into here to the pulmonic area. Right here to Herb's Point. Over here to your tricuspid area. And over to your mitral area, which I'm going to leave at for 60 seconds so I can count your pulse. Got 73 beats per minute, which is normal. I hear a lot of normal, normal vowel sounds. So I'm going to have you hold your breath in. Nope, I don't hear anything there. Okay, whenever you're ready. to your back side here. Alright, some deep breaths in and out. Okay, so aortic. Colonic. Second pulmonic.
tricuspid. Mitral. Here S1, S2, and I don't hear any clicks or murmurs. So I'm just going to do that a couple different positions. I'm going to have you lie your head down. Okay. So I'm also inspecting for jugular venous distension, which I don't see. And I'm just going to take another listen. So I'll get rid of you. Yep. And if I can have you lie on your left side, that will be the last spot that I listen to everything. Aortic. Pulmonic. Second pulmonic. Tricuspid. that all sounds just fine. I hear S1, S2. I don't hear any clicks or murmurs at all. And they're active? Your bowel sounds are active there. And they're active. And you have active bowel sounds sometimes all four quadrants. You know, if I was auscultating and I started to hesitate and think that maybe I weren't was not hearing any bowel sounds, I would have to also take for a full five minutes by the watch to make sure and to before I could accurately say that there were some absent bowel sounds. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to um, also take for any brewing of the um, vasculature of your abdomen over your aorta here. There is no brewing noted. This is your renals. I'm hearing nothing at all. Your il your iliacs. I'm going to go a little bit lower around your femorals. Okay, good. I'm going to start at the anterior portion and beginning um, on your neck. And this is your bronchial respirations. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. And on bronchial respirations, the pitch is higher and the amplitude is a little bit louder. And the expiration is usually louder than the inspiration on your bronchial respirations. Okay, good. You have vesicular breath sounds over the main portions of where your lungs lie, and you have a um, a bronchial vesicular over just to the lateral sides of the sternal border. Here it's more moderate in pitch and amplitude, and the inspiration and expiration should, should pretty much match as compared to the vesicular breath sounds where it is softer and lower in amplitude and um, pitch, and also the inspiration over the vesicular breath sounds are going to be louder than the expiration. Now I'm going to listen to the posterior portion of your thorax. You always want to follow the same pattern when assessing your breath sounds. And again, with the vesicular over the lung fields and the bronchovesicular along the spine. I'm going to start at about the mid clavicular line and assess for your point of maximum intensity first with a, kind of a little bit of a deep palpation here. And I can feel it about right here. And we're at the mid follicular line, about the fifth fifth intercostal space. And it's about two centimeters in width and a quick pulsation feeling, uh, feeling which is normal. 
I'm going to take a listen. You have a normal S1, S2, with S1 being louder than S2 at the apex of your heart. It's nice and even and regular. It's about 64 beats a minute, which is a nice healthy heart rate. I'm going to take a listen to your, continue to listen here. S1, S2 is noted. I'm going to listen to the base of your heart. S1, S2. And at the base of your heart, it's a normal finding for the S, S2 to be louder than the S1. I'm going to move on down and listen to your heart valves. You're going to start at the second intercostal space to the right of the sternal border here. This is your aortic valve. Okay. Second intercostal space left of the sternal border is your pulmonic valve. Third intercostal space left sternal border is your herbs point. Fourth intercostal space left sternal border is your tricuspid valve. And your fifth intercostal space midclavicular line is your mitral valve. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick assessment here. The same valves again with the bell of my stethoscope. If you just get in the habit of going in the same order. Herbs points. Your cardiac assessment is, um, appears to be normal. Don't listen for any bruise in your carotids here. There's no bruise there. I'm going to take an auscultation at the apex of your heart and check the pulsation in your carotids. They should um, be accurately together, which they are. Okay, great.